Bebo. Uh, just going to go through a quick video um, how to fit this iPhone or iPod dock support. It's an upgrade kit to put in your sound dock to help, for example, when you put your phone in, um, it's sitting on the connector, it's bouncing around, uh, and um, whilst it's bouncing around and you're trying to operate it, the connector is being stressed and uh, warm, and also it's not good for your device either, the iPod or the iPhone or whatever you put in your dock. Um, so, you know, the standard standard support, if I take the phone out, the standard support is this standard uh, unit, which is, I put a white one in here so you can see the bit I'm talking about. Um, you see this has got a hole in the front. This, is, this, this unit has got the Invivo uh, BC6 Bluetooth streaming upgrade in it with the front aux socket. But, you know, this, um, this upgrade is applicable whether you've got an original Bose board, whether you've got an Invivo replacement board. This kit is universal for all sound dock uh, originals um, and it comes with the main support upgrade with a silicone pad to suit your device that's on one part and the other part is a basically a cosmetic framing piece which is uh, literally just a, a trim to put in and that trim's held in with double-sided tape I've taken the tape tabs off there to save time on the video but when you get yours you'll have a, a tape frame on the back or a piece of, and you have to take the backing off before you stick it in so the first thing to do is to remove the old docking support, okay, and then remove the tape from the backing piece of your, um, sorry, the backing tape from the the, uh, the trim piece. Um, clean inside here. I've done it on this one, but wipe around inside here to get rid of all the dirt and mess, and make sure it's clean and dry, uh, so that uh, the adhesive will stick. And then you just place the uh, part in there, like so and push it down really firmly. Okay, so that's stage one. Stage one, we put the filler piece in, okay? Now stage two is that um, in the kit you will receive a small Torx T8 screwdriver. And because this needs to be secure, it's fitted from underneath, okay? But it, don't get too uh, worried about what's involved because it's really quite simple. Um, lay the dock on its back and simply remove these three screws. One. Number two, and number three. Actually, a lot of people say that the fact that this part moves, is it, is it broken or wrong? The answer is no, it's mounted on rubber, rubber shock, shock absorbers. So if you're dock, don't worry about that, it's not broken or anything wrong, that, that's by design, it's supposed to be like that. Okay, so whip out screw number three. And uh, gently disengage this board. Okay, so there it is. And you take your piece, your dock infill piece, your uh, sorry support, and you just pop it in the hole like that. And it, this actually, if I take it out again, you can see here is a, a small hole uh, with a boss um, plastic around. It goes over this screw mounting boss. There's the the, the plastic uh, pillar which the screw screws into. It just slots in. You can see it'll sit there quite happily in place. And all you have to do then is just feed the connector through back into position and then pop back in your three screws. One, number two coming up, number two, and finally number three. There we are. Okay, so now if I just turn that back up right, hopefully you can still see it. Don't have a cameraman today. You can see there is the dock adapter fitted into the dock, and you can see you've got an upright support pillar which supports your phone in fill surround piece um, matching the dock. Okay, so I'll turn it a couple of angles so you can see. And now if we uh, go back to where we were before and put the iPhone in, um, one thing about this is the connector sits higher. So um, if you have a protective case on your phone, one of the small skins or whatever, then the, we've designed this so that actually the phone will sit a little bit lower on the connector so that you can get away with the case. And if there's a case thickness uh, is bigger that way, we supply a number of thinner pads, sorry, so that you can uh, you can select the pad that suits your iPhone case best. Of course, this is still applicable for the iPod Classic, the iPod Video, and everything else. So 
you know you can choose and mix and match these pads to decide which one you want to use but uh, if you've got a case on the phone obviously you have to use a slightly thinner pad or if you want to use an iPod Classic plus um, an iPhone then you just have to choose the correct pad for you basically but we've designed it so that you don't have to take the case off the phone obviously if the case is a very thick case you're going to be, have a problem but generally speaking we've made this cut out much wider and much deeper and we've made the connector sit higher too so that you get more penetration into the connector on the base of the phone um, it's perfectly safe anyway pop the phone on Actually, take that off there. pop the phone on and then you see it's no, it's no longer worrying about you've got a solid phone you can tap on it and, and tap on it. If I turn it from the side, you can see it's been supported from behind. So that is how you fit the Invivo uh, dock connector um, upgrade. And of course, um, it's available in white or black. You can see it on our website or on eBay. You get it from both sources. Um, and so what it will do, just to recap, it's a, it's a support um, that fits into the dock, much more secure than the standard one gives your phone or iPod or whatever support from the back so that it prevents wear and tear on the connector and also gives you a much more positive experience when you're navigating around on the screen if you need to do that. Um, comes with a selection of pads so that if you have a case on your phone or iPod you can select the pad which gives you the correct thickness and the correct support from behind. And there's a little chart which shows you which ones to use as well as a suggestion but you know by trial and error you'll see that the the, uh, the correct one's there. And these pads fit in by this rubber locking um, detail sticking out here, you just push it through and the rubber uh, compresses and then locks in from behind so once it's pushed and it's not stuck you can change them easily. So that's the uh, Invivo um, dock adapter upgrade kit uh, available from our website invivo.com, I-N-V-E-B-O.com. Thank you very much.